Okay, first Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11:25. 11, and the Bible says about Moses, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God, than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Now, who would have thought that would be in the Bible as we go to Psalms? The Bible says that there is pleasure in sin. The Holy Bible. For a season. Now, a lot of people say, oh, there's the, the pleasure of sin, then they'll leave out me the modern Bible. I don't check the modern Bibles no more. Maybe they leave out for a season, but for a season. And when we come to Psalms 137, oh, there's been all kinds of fun. There's been all kinds of entertainment. Then the axe fell. And Israel or Judah went into captivity. And Psalm 137 is written after the captivity in the captivity. And it's not all fun and games. Now, spiritually, we can't spiritualize it to the church. The church doesn't go into captivity. And I don't know how glory is going to be like, but how are you going to get the glory? I'm talking about you're saved, you're going to heaven, and you spent your entire life with worldly pleasure and entertainment. And you come out of the judgment seat of Christ with all ashes and get no crown, no reward, and no inheritance at all. How do you go through heaven like that? How about going to heaven and then you see that Christian that you hated, you didn't like, and he was zealous for the Lord. He was, you know, zealous reading the Bible. He tried to encourage everybody, try to get you going. And he stupidly went out and, you know, knocked on doors, preached on the street. He went out there, witnessed. He grabbed gospel tracks and he just went, 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 went. And you didn't do, 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 do. He's got crowns now. He gets an inheritance. He gets a well done. You got nothing. Now we come to Psalm 137, the captivity. And I'm pretty sure that majority of the people are that are in Babylon may have just only the shirt on their back. Maybe a backpack or something they carried. Maybe. But this would picture the Christian when he gets to heaven, all you got yourself. We had the fun. We had the games. Judah. They wouldn't listen to Jeremiah. They wouldn't listen to Isaiah. They wouldn't listen to the prophets that God sent to them. And let's read how it was when they got into Babylon. When, Ju when Judah and Jerusalem and the temple had been completely destroyed. Babylon did a great job. And when you open up the book of Daniel, you got four uh, Jewish children. And the nation's trying to change their language. The, the nation's trying to change their diet. The, the nation's trying to remove the identity. By the rivers of Babylon. Well, that's not by the Jordan River. That's not by the Mediterranean Sea. That's not by the streams and brooks of Judah. They're out of the land. One day the Christians are going to be out of this world. And woe be to you that this world was your home. And you thought you were going to do more than just pass through. There we sat down. Yay. We wept when we remember Zion. Zion's destroyed. Weeping 
and God wiping away the tears does not happen to Revelation 21 and 22. I know there will be reaping of Christians and those that did do the service of God at the great white throne judgment. But I tried to reach my family members and they still went off to the lake of fire and burned forever. I'm going to weep. But I'm going to have comfort in God. You know, you did all you could. And then you may, even, for some, you may even went beyond what you could do. done. I told you just go in the world and preach the gospel. But you sent gospel track after gospel track. And you set forth a Christian standard in your life. What about the Christians that don't do nothing at all? We hanged our hearts upon the willows. All right. Okay. So they, they were able to take heart. Some, not all. Were these the Levites that were at the temple? Were these the very harps that were appointed by David? Are now sitting in trees in Babylon. And you've heard of weeping willows. And it's funny, some willows have that uh, sciatic acid, which you make aspirin. I don't know what that, but that's an interesting fact. They're out of their country. They are seated down. They're remembering Zion. And they don't have no praise. You know there are harps mentioned in heaven in Revelation? Golden harps? And they're singing in glory according to John in the book of Revelation? If you gave your whole life to the devil in the world and didn't give nothing to Jesus, I don't think you're going to be rejoicing at your end of the judgment seat of Christ. I don't think you're going to be, hallelujah, got ashes. There's no more rejoicing. But there was rejoicing back in Judah. They were sinning against God. Read Jeremiah. We'll be coming to Jeremiah in a long while. The Lord tarries. For there they, Babylon, that carried us, Judah, away captive, required of us a song. They're mocking the Israelites. Come on, Israel, play one of your songs. Babylon has acknowledged beautiful music comes out of Israel. And maybe the the, the, the the singers appointed by David in the, in the temple, maybe that got all the way to uh, Babylon. Listen, the king that was going to die, and Isaiah said, put the figs on him. Babylon came into Judah, and the king showed them, Hezekiah showed them everything. And maybe they went back, and one of the things they went, man, you should hear that music. Man, that is some beautiful music at that golden, bright temple. Come on, play a song. Now, I don't think it's going to be cruel at the judgment seat of Christ, but um, imagine Jesus coming. All right, what value do you have now? Somebody's going to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And there'll be others, I guarantee there will be a rebuke. It, Judah's being rebuked. Come on, where's your music now? Where's the queen of heaven now? Where's Baal and Balaam and Asterisk and Tammuz? They're all in the book of Jeremiah. Where's your Christmas tree? Well, that's not the Christmas tree, Jeremiah chapter. Where is it now? Where is deck the halls with balls of gold and silver?
Listen, that, that captain of the guard of the Babylon army came up to Jeremiah and said, it is your sins that, that God has done this to you. And Jeremiah lived right. All he did was confirm to Jeremiah, your preaching, your teaching was exact. Can you imagine, and I don't know what it's going to be, and I don't want to lift my trumpet, or anything. can you imagine if everybody, all right, everyone come over here to New Siley. All right, you guys around? Well done, Siley, and all these people that thought you were, where's your singing, guys? Where's the soul that you got up here in heaven? Oh, he didn't like your, your, your programs. He didn't like what you did. I didn't like it either. That's what's going to happen to Jeremiah. And that's what's going to happen to Jeremiah in glory. His own people wanted Jeremiah dead. And this is the time after Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a priest, and the priest of Antioch wanted Jeremiah dead. Oh, I guarantee there have been Christians out there who want me to shut up and dead and do whatever it can to be. I guarantee it. Play that song. And they that wasted us, Babylon, required of us mirth. That's noise, joy, cheer. Come on, let's, where's the party? Where's the electric guitars on the stage at the church? Where is it? Where's your faith healers that didn't heal anybody? Where's all your BBS program and all the gun funds and time you had in the plays? Where is all that? Listen, America is doing what Judah is doing in the time of Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, man, there are altars on every street for every street in, Ju in uh, Jerusalem. There's a church in practically every street in, in Daytona Beach. And they're all not doing right. Saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. Come on, you cheerful, wonderful, happy Jews. And if the captain of the guard told Jeremiah that you guys, this has all happened because your God purposed upon you because you sinned against your God. The Babylonians are looking at the Israelites in Babylon. Like, hey, you're the one that was unfaithful to your holy and righteous God. Now bow down before Moloch. Bow down before Baal. Bow down before Nebuchadnezzar. Our gods have defeated your God. Because we've been more righteous to our gods than you've been righteous to God. They're taunting Israel. And God's allowing it because... What if, and I thought about this. Wouldn't it be a, a bad thing in the millennium that the Christian that didn't do nothing... you imagine that Christian... You hated that Christian that did something. You imagine, all right, well done now, good and faithful servant. Rule over 10 cities, rule over five cities. You that did nothing, didn't like him, you're going to be under his authority. How's that? You mocked him, made fun of him, he served me, did he what he was supposed to, you're going to be under his rule. Ooh, wouldn't that be a humiliating? And what if what if we're allowed to be? What if we're allowed to have an attitude? I don't know. What if we're allowed to be sarcastic? Because there's sarcasm in the Bible. What if we get in the millennium? Hey, where's your ratland experience now? Imagine if God gave me Daytona Bay. Where's your ratland? Where, where's all your worldly comforts and all your worldly worship? Where's that now? I, and I, I don't want to boast, but godly boasting. I didn't say pride. I said godly boasting. 
Well done is a boast. It's not pride. And that's what Babylon is doing to Israel. To Israel and the psalmist is writing it down. We're getting taunted. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? How can we do hymns? I'm going to assume that those harps in verse 2 were the temple harps. And I'm going to assume that these are Levites that were singing. Come on, where's your contemporary music? Where's your rock and roll for Jesus? Where's your rapping for Where's those songs now? Come on, let's sing us let's sing a couple hymns of led uh, I'd love to tell the story. Wouldn't that be a kick in the pan? All right, in heaven, let, I'd love to tell the story, and you've got Christians that have no rewards, no crowns, because they didn't love to tell the story and they told gossip. Whoa. I think some of the old hymns are gonna be in glory with the with the songs we're singing. you imagine getting a, getting a favorite hymn down here? I mean, a, a, a hymn in the hymnal. Oh, Jesus, can we sing this hymn? <clears throat> that has nothing to do with me. Why on earth would you ask for that song to be played? Come on, let's sing Stars and Stripes. For what? You want to look at Stars and Stripes? Look at my back. Old Glory? That's the Father in me. Come on, Lord, let's sing a let's sing a couple of words of America from Purple Mountains. What's America? I don't know what America is. Let's get up and let's hail to the chief. What's a chief? All hail to Emmanuel. That's what we're gonna sing. All hail. All the worldly songs of the church and Christians today throughout the world. How can we sing the Lord's song? How can worldly Christians sing the true old-fashioned hymns if they're not true and dear to their life? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. And right hand is you know how to play an instrument. Cunning means I'm talented. If I forget about our Jewish homeland, if I forget about our temple, if I forget about our capital, may I never play the harp. Or the, and I'm going to say, I think this is written to the Levites or by the Levite who played the musical instruments in the temple. Let me never play again. And in the modern church age today, you got people get up there and they bang away in their electric guitar and their drum set. That doesn't please God. Come on, break out those 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 uh, uh, drum sets in heaven, which are not going to be. Let's do grace, grace, marvelous grace. That, you can't do that on drums. If I do not remember thee, with Jerusalem. The beauty of Jerusalem where God said to the Jewish people, I will put my name there. Now the church has got that mistake. You know, we're the temple, we're the this is where God you got this is where we assemble with God. And you know how many churches I've been in that had a Christmas tree? And you think God's gonna assemble with that when he rebukes it in, in Jeremiah chapter ten? And there's a lot of churches that have the Easter egg hut, and they have the Easter. You think God's going to be part of that? That's a Roman. God ain't part of that, that assembly. God does not come down to a church and, okay, here, guys, here's a piece of my flesh, and here's my blood. Go ahead and eat and drink it. No. But for the Jew, there was one city and one building where God says, there I am. Let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. Let me not be able, let me be dumb. Uh, not dumb. Let me be silent. 
and my prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, let me not, let me not be able to speak. Dumb in the Bible is you can't speak. Let me not be able to sing. Remember, O oh Lord. All right, now we're in the same thing, but the misery we're going through, Lord, remember. The children of Edom, that's Esau, that's Jacob's brother. They're at bitter enemies with each other. In the day of Jerusalem, when Babylon came and uh, destroyed Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it. That means the level overthrow. Edom, Esau, when Babylon came in and was destroying Jerusalem, it's recorded. <coughs> Excuse me. It's recorded several places in the Bible. Esau and Edom were egging on the Babylonians to destroy Israel. One book, one of the prophets in the Bible says that they were capturing Israel men and women of Israel, and they were turning them and selling them over to the Babylonian army. Hey, look, look at these Jews I caught. Which also is going to picture the tribulation period. So what the writer of the psalm is, hey, we had this enemy. We had Babylon, and we also had Edom. Even to the foundation thereof. Destroyed the place completely is what Esau was saying. Oh, daughter of Babylon. Now, that one little brief thing about the Edom. That's weird. And you find that with Edom in Obadiah. And we're back to the daughter of Babylon. Who are to be destroyed? I'll curse them that curse you. There it is. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. The writer is saying, okay, God, go get go get Esau. Go get Edom. And God, you're going to get, you're going to nail Babylon for what they did. And he will. With the Medes and the Persians. In the time of Daniel and uh, Belshazzar. But the writer doesn't realize God told Babylon to go do it. There's one point, I think it's Jeremiah or Ezekiel, one of the two books. God told Babylon, you know what? You did such a good job in Jerusalem, but guess what? I didn't pay you. Get yourself down to Egypt and destroy Egypt, spoil Egypt. That is your pay. But no matter what, if you curse Israel, you're going to get cursed. Happy shall he be. I don't know if that's God or an Israelite. But happy he shall be that taketh, all right, the one... The, the, the military people that come against you, Babylon, happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones, babies and children, against the stones. Babylon, when the army comes against you, which would be the Medes and Persians, man, they're going to rejoice when they take your babies and slaughter them. What they were doing back in Judah. So the psalmist is, oh man, we sin. Lord, remember the sin of Esau. Lord, remember Babylon for what they did to us. And so the psalmist is already getting some kind of comfort. We're God's blessed people and those that curse us. Woohoo, you're going to be in trouble. Daniel got to see that. Shadrach, Meshach, Indigo got to see that. I don't know about the psalmist. But in Nehemiah and Ezra, there were people that remembered the old temple. 
And they were weeping as the ones who did not remember the death. That man, they're rejoicing. Glory. Hey, it's Bill. And there were there are some people here at this point in time, they're going to see Babylon get their butt kicked. Because they kicked the butt of Israel. And to further read about Esau, you need to study the book of Obadiah. 